What's going on, guys? It's your boy John from the Gamer Do here. Welcome back to another late night episode. We're out here, we're chilling, having a good time. I laugh because we're playing Ultra Moon, and yet here we are on another morning episode because you know, might as well record a Ultra Moon Gen log, which is supposed to be dark and dreary and like have all that in the morning when it's super sunny and totally fine in the game. Um, because remember, it's on a 12 hour curve, so technically it is nighttime for me. So I guess I should have played Ultra Sun and just called it Ultra Moon. Like, I swear to goodness, like it would have made a lot more sense apparently with my recording schedule, which I thought was actually in the mornings, but apparently not. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get into a quick team recap because you know, I could go on a long rap for years and years and years about you know how I thought my upload schedule or my recording schedule was better, but apparently not. So we got Daddy in the champ with Storm Throw, Brick Break, Liquidation, and Cotton Guard. I know I didn't say it the way that it was meant to be said. We got Sandy with Liquidation, Headbutt, Moonblast, and Dragon Claw. We have Papa with Liquidation, X, Scissor, Dizzy Punch, and Play Ralph. We got Nick with Photom Geyser, Moon Geyser, Beam, Earth Power, and Volt Switch. We have Fida with Flower Shield, Discharge, Waterfall, and Hyper Fang. And we got Drake with Sparkly Aria, Psychic, Yawn, and Dragon Dance. Yes, I went quick in the team recap because I'm testing to see how fast my team recaps can be or if they even look good or sound good if it's like super fast because I have a new series in the works that I can't wait to share with you guys because honestly, it is an idea that Troll and I came up with together um, very long time ago now. I it, like it actually has been a lot longer than it feels like. I feel like we came up with this idea just yesterday, but no. In all reality, we came up with this idea in, like, February or March. Um, and Troll was going to execute it as a live series, but then, you know, didn't, which is okay. So, I will be executing that as a recorded series. And I think it'll go really well. I've got plans for it, and I know what I want to do with it. Which is, it feels good when you know what you want to do with something. And, it'll again, it'll be another kind of experimental series, but... After experimenting with this series and figuring out, like, what's good and what's not, and, like, what YouTube kind of likes, YouTube does not like experimental content, okay? I can tell you that right off the bat. YouTube does not prefer experimental content. So, it will, the way that I'm going to format it is it's going to be formatted as non-experimental content. Where, like, it'll look like it's not, it's not, like, experimental at all. And, like, it looks like it's going to be fresh new content. But I will be experimental with this. Like, I am going to, it is going to be a Nuzlocke. But it's going to be a cool form of Nuzlocke. And so titles will definitely say Nuzlocke and uh, stuff like that. Just so that, the, that YouTube recognizes that, hey, this is a Nuzlocke. Let me put it in the Nuzlocke category. Um... But yeah, I can't wait to show you that series. And like, I'm definitely going to make a trailer. Now, I, I don't know necessarily how I want to make the trailer. And that's kind of something I'm thinking about as of right now. Because this series is nowhere close to being at a close. Which is, whew, thank goodness. Because I want to just jump right into the next series. Get the art for the, the new series. The problem is, just like my fuck, this series is going to require seven, if not eight layouts. I will tell you that right now. The next series that I'm doing is going to require seven, if not eight, layouts. So, yeah. If that if that doesn't even give if that gives you a little bit of a hint into what I may be doing, then you're a stan over on Trolls Channel, and I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, like I have a plan, and I want to execute this plan. And if this plan gets executed correctly. I will be very happy. Now, I don't know what, like, what games to play. I think I, I like, for what I want to do, and yes, I said games, uh, not game. I think I know what I want to do. Because I, as a kid, there was only one instance. I don't know about you guys. Like, you know, black and white, uh, ruby, sapphire, X and Y. Like, what games did you guys primarily play? For me, it was the second one primarily. I played blue. I played silver. I played sapphire. Diamond. Black. Y. Moon. Ultra Moon. Like, and then sword. Like, I primarily played that second game. Like, whatever was... Like, there's only two generations. That's four and five. 
in which I didn't play the second game, and I guess eight technically too. So only three generations in which I played the first game that came out, which is kind of crazy. So I kind of want to do that, that if I want it. Like, I want to do the one that I played, because, I mean, it doesn't necessarily affect anything to my knowledge if I do it that way or not. And I think that's kind of what makes it cool, is, like, no matter what I do, it shouldn't affect anything. Um, also, the melee outer cape. I forgot about this area entirely, and nobody yelled at me, which is really exciting. As my encounter is going to be a... Reg Ice. Not even bad, though. Not even bad. I'm going to liquidation you. I think you die. Cause you're, but you're Reg Ice. Like, you... Yeah, okay. You're a Reg Ice. You're fine. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, yeah, it's weird, and I have future plans. It's like, I'm not used to having future plans, right? I'm used to just boom, 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 boom. But I have a seven to eight month series planned. Which is a lot. And I don't know if that's going to really be a benefit or a thing that hurts me. It should be a benefit because of what I'm trying to plan and how I'm trying to plan around it. Especially if I can get collaborative series in between it. Right? Because that's realistically the only way that that's going to go well. And I've noticed it in this specifically. Because view counts have gone down now that it's been repeated, 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 repeated. And that makes 100% sense. Um, so I definitely need to get a good schedule formatted. Where... The solo series can go up three, two to th two to four times a week. I'd say almost two would be better. Dang, we caught that Reggie Ice like that. Um, I don't know. What do would you do? You guys, uh, you guys like the solo series? I've been looking at the analytics. You guys like the solo series, and you guys sit here and watch, which I can't even like fathom the amount of like times that the the average view duration on this series has been god tier and. It, I think it plays a part in you guys, and you guys being amazing. And it also, I think, because I'm a lot more high energy, and I try and keep you guys engaged in what's going on. Speaking of keeping you guys engaged in what's going on, I need to figure out who I want to name this after. Joe just talking about Bionicles, because I made a joke. Which makes sense. Okay, looking at my phone for the only reason. Looking at the Don't Kill Daddy episode. Who commented? Oh. We're going to name this. Tinwala. Tinwala sounds like a phenomenal name. For a Regice. So Tinwala the Regice. That actually sounds amazing. We can check Tinwala's summary. See what she's got or see what it's got. Immunity. Can't be poisoned. We'll take it. Unfortunately, I don't like the nature, but that nature is what allowed us to catch it. So, I'm down. <laughs> like, that nature is what allowed it to live two liquidations. It just has a negative, a negative uh, nature in its best stat, which is a little unfort. But again, it's livable. It's not something bad. It could have been worse, and it has an ability where it can't be poisoned. It doesn't get affected by poison. So, I, I, I ain't complaining. Your boy cannot complain about that. If I were to complain about that, I would be the silliest complainer ever. Um, but, yes. So, today's episode, we will be... I, I want to get to the totem. I'm scared and nervous for the totem, but I want to get there. I think I can't... Oh, wait. No. I want to go to Route 11 first. Game. You already know I want to go to Route 11 first. Why would you let me go to Route 10? That's not allowed. Our encounter in Route 11. Hopefully it's... Like, Red Dice is really good. I can't believe I caught that that fast. Um, Emolga. Okay. Whew. Like, I'll take it. Um, I think we got a Quick Ball still. And Quick Balls are really good to catch things, so... I definitely will take that. If we have a Quick Ball. If we don't, then I'm sad. And... I really should. Okay, I do have one. Okay. I have exactly one. Okay. Well, we should kill the Volga. I don't know why I stayed in, but it's because I have a feeling that we're catching this mod. Okay? I just have the greatest feeling that I'm catching it with a quick ball. Awesome. I'm the Pokemon champion. Just saying. 
I have never lost a cage lock, and I don't want to lose a cage lock. Although I may be losing cage lock with Aaron right now, you'll never know until you unless you watch the series. Um, but I want to win. I am two and zero in cage lock. Let's make it three and zero. Can we do it? Can we make it three and zero in cage lock, and then uh. Then we can fight Dylan in a cage match, you know. Then we can fight Dylan in a cage lock because if we can fight Dylan in a cage lock and win, boom. Um, speaking of, we're gonna name this thing. Gosh, I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna name this thing Big Nice because a Molga plays way too nice for its own good. Big Nice. Thank you, Big Nice, for co commenting on the video. We do appreciate it. It does help out the channel significantly and. You have the Disguise ability. Does Disguise only work on Mimikyu? I don't actually know. <laughs> like, that's actually a good question. Does it only work on Mimikyu? Because if it doesn't, then that's a Gen 5 Mon that actually is really good. Like, and that actually can be utilized so well because electric is a very good typing it's got the flying typing to add on to that so getting negating the weaknesses only having the weakness of, of a pure flying type which is uh rock and ice like and uh, electric but it doesn't have that weakness because it's not um uh, but yeah like hmm that's a good question brick brick should do like it should do half, but this is an Empoleon, like... Ooh, I should have hit you with, uh, Storm Throw. My brain did... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh, wait. No, Storm Throw still does a lot, because, uh, crit damage is 1.5. Um, so it's, like, 90 base power instead of 75, which I don't know why. Like, again, Storm Throw is the better move in any situation, so the reason... I don't know. I don't know why I play it like it's not, but it, it is. Good job, John. You did it. Um, but yeah, we beat this preschooler. We're fine. We out here. We're chilling. And our encounter route 10 is a jinx. This thing ravaged Gen 1 and 2. So I am 100% down for that. Jinx is a good Gen 1 mon. It will never be used because we have a mega Mewtwo, but it's okay because <laughs> I can't even make it up. Like, it's not going to get used. We have a mega Mewtwo in the box if daddy dies. So, which again, if you look at episode 22's title, not going to happen. So, <laughs> I'm kind of sorry for this jinx, but kind of not sorry because it is a jinx. Like, it's not that great in Gen 7. Now, Gen 1 and 2, that is a different story. But Gen 7 is not, it's not a specialty, unfortunately, so, and especially with a crappy moveset like this, Miracle Eye, and some other move that does nothing, like, there's no reason to even catch this thing, because it's, it's, it falls into the same trap that most ghost types do, and, or most, uh, Let's just throw that out the window real quick. Okay, you have Origin Pulse. That's not okay. But most Psychic types fall into the trap of having two really trash moves and then one okay move and then one, again, and two okay moves. Usually, they don't have that, but this one does, so we'll take it. Um, but yeah, typically speaking, you're not going to run into a Psychic type that has great moves. So, like, the fact that Nick... Has great moves. Yeah, this is what I'm expecting. So, Miracle, trash move, trash move, amazing move, and meh move. So, like, again, it's not a bad thing. This is, this is kind of just the psychic type curse, if you will. Like, in a randomizer like this, psychic types are not typically anywhere near the magnitude of this. So, because I just got lucky, and Nick just has beast boost conveniently. So... Again, I put my hands in the air. Like, I just don't care. Like, we're going to catch it. So that's all that matters. And we are going to name this thing. This person gave us really amazing fan art today. Or not today, but like... Technically today, the day of, date of recording. This person gave us amazing cabbage fan art. And I cannot 
let that not get a name. Like, I, we really do appreciate it so very much. And the fact that they spent the time to draw a cabbage with their life. That is what they decided to do with their life. Is to draw a cabbage. Like, this person is getting a nickname. And it's gonna be... Raw... Let's... Rockaputra? I probably butchered that, but rock... Uh... Poot... Rockaputra. Thank you so much for the fan art of Cabbage. Again, it doesn't go unnoticed. All you guys commenting, liking, and all that. I want to make sure that gets rewarded in some way, shape, or form. This is, like, the best way I can do that. It's got Quick Feet with Origin Pulse. Oh, wait. We already knew the ability. We just needed to know. Or we didn't know the ability. So, Quick Feet. Not bad. It's definitely not a bad Mon. But, unfortunately, because it's Gen 1, it does fall into the terrible curse of probably not going to get used because... There's too much competition in that generation, just in general, unfortunately, where, like I said, I, I wish, I wish it didn't, oh, that, what is that? Is that a golem? No, it's a jellicent, okay. Jellicent would have been really good, too, but, like, and that would have been Gen 5, and, like, that would have been actually really good for Gothita. Um, but, yeah, like, it does. It's th things fall into the same traps and the same hole. And I want to make sure that we don't fall into that. Like, I love every single one of you guys in the community. Like I said, I, that's, like, one of my favorite parts of naming Pokemon is that I can name things after you guys. Because you guys show that love, that support. Just clicking on the video and watching for up to this long. If you've watched up to this point, you're a legend. Ha type hashtag legend in the comments so that I know so in your comment type your comment type hashtag legend so I know you guys are making it that far uh, in the video because honestly like it is wild to me personally um, like seeing the amount the sheer amount of people that just want to hang out and here's the thing in my next series video would have ended Video would have ended already, and I, it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be weird having short episodes, but I think that in the long run, it will actually be better because I think these shorter episodes are going to promote like differences and changes in the community, which it's gonna be weird. I love the longer video format, but I think the longer video format actually works way better in a collaborative series. Just, just saying it right now. I think that longer video format, like. Is going to work, and you're gonna see that it works better in a law in a uh, like a series like Cage Lock with Aaron or versus with Beegers, like, and I think that that will actually be displayed pretty well. Um, I hope at least, like, cause I already see Cage Lock with Aaron getting like 80, almost 80 views at this point. Like, it's ridiculous, but it's also amazing to see that you guys love it that much that you are willing to spend part of your day here like it's wild and it's something that I can't even fathom like I never would have imagined being in a position with which I am Fida is actually learning a good yes good job Fida like I would have never fathomed being in a position of which I am today right because I'm in a position where I'm almost at monetization right I've got a hoo hoo video that has Nearly 5,000 views at this point, if not more than 5,000 views when you look at the video now, when this video comes out on Friday. Um, which, I said I was going to explain how a gen lock works. I'm sorry, Carissa. I, I, or, Carissa. Carissa. Sorry, I returned back to work um, in a week from now, so I'm thinking about that. Um, Cassandra. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I will definitely remember in the next episode. Ah, Because people keep asking what a gen lock is. And Cassandra has been god tier and literally answering those comments. Which, like I said, I love you, Cassandra, and I appreciate that a lot. It does help significantly. And, like, I can actually bounce that. I can bounce the comment back, right? Like, and I, I hope that I'm doing a good job at that. Um, so you know that I'm appreciative of that because that is huge. It's like... But yeah, so I, I I try with all of those questions, the what is a gem lock question, because I know 
that is inevitable that that question is going to come up because our family has grown so much over the last month on top of the fact that uh, the last person who did a gem lock was four years ago in a gen one like what the the point of a gen log is to use all like or is like to use one mon per generation and then they did it in gen one it's like you literally can't do it in okay and i think they just use they 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 did it where they had to use uh the other way around which a lot of people thought originally that the series was i had to use one mon or uh, every mon from one generation and i picked what generation it's like no 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 uh i think it's actually cooler to have a like it shows team mix and team diversity and like that's what i love about my team in this game like i love the fact that i can't choose what i have because if i could i would have had a mega like three different megas on the team i can't i'm not even gonna lie i would have had three different megas on this team but we got some megas in the box waiting chilling like doing what they're supposed like it's weird i can t like i have a mega mewtwo x in the box like but that's also because i don't change what mons are on my team once they're on it so daddy the champ got on the team and now it's been a gen one mon right and now it's been the gen one mon since it's been on the team since like episode three like some of these mons have truly been on the team forever in a day and you know you see it with papa literally episode one because it was the starter. Then we got Daddy the Machamp, which I think was episode three. Like, and I don't, like, those are the two that I remember having really early. I think the rest died pretty much uh, from the original cast. But I think, but Daddy the Machamp and Papa the Two Cannon are the two on the original squad. And I'll never forget in my Ultra Moon series, that the first time I played Ultra Moon, I did it in a randomizer. I accidentally level boosted to 25%. Don't ask me how, because I don't know. I don't know how I was stupid enough to randomize it a second time after I realized that I screwed up the statics. <sighs> this was 2017, John, who didn't know what he was doing and had a terrible computer. So, but I remember having 31 deaths. But episode six, we got a bear tick and we named it Patrick. And it had an ice school crash from the get-go and it carried our through the lock and beat a primal groudon unfortunately because i was using the elgato at the time i don't know why i was using the elgato at the time but i was again don't ask me why doesn't make sense at all but i was like like computer to computer elgato like okay um but yeah like it just definitely was crazy to know that like and to see that Mon like mons from the original cast still being on the team like if i look at this team i need to look at this team sandy's not og nick's not og feta ain't og and drake ain't og yeah so it's just daddy and papa daddy and papa are the only og mons which is you know i kind of find irony in that <laughs> like i'm not even gonna lie that's kind of funny that the two words that the t two names that are words for dad are the mods that are staying alive. Definitely interesting. And that's a very weird, weird way to cap off this episode. <laughs> but we're going to do that. Because the next episode, we will be taking on the totem. Definitely nervous for it. It's going to be a level 33. A level 33. Don't know if it's going to be forceful evolved. It should be forceful evolved. But I'm a little worried since that Fletcher was not. But... This is definitely going to be an amazing episode. It's definitely going to be scary. Definitely going to have a lot of crazy things. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe if you're new. We are so close to 1K and that only like 400 watch hours away from monetization. Freaking wild beasts that you guys are. Just killing the content. And I love it so much. So I just want to say thank you so much. And you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out, everyone.